Welcome back everyone to another video and today well we need to work on our animations a little bit we gotta make sure that they actually are getting ran we are already all good with the animation blueprint we created that a few videos ago and now we actually need to make sure that our character changes the animation based on the weapon that he has equipped now the first thing that we need is let's go to our inventory items database and here so we have our pistol rifle and sniper uh, I'm gonna change up the types since well like I mentioned previously I only want to hold one gun at a time uh, melee weapons are gonna still be able to we were still gonna be able to hold two but for the guns I want only one so for the pistol the type is going to be a pistol and for both of the rifles the types are going to be the rifle and the sniper one gets the same type so we have two rifles and a pistol what also is important is the top pose index that it is two for our rifles and one for our pistol because that's exactly what we set in the animation blueprint previously so now we can save this close this up and now let's go to our third person character and actually start working on the actual functionality so I already got brought to the correct function what we need to do is go to the add item to equipment function over here and what I will actually do is promote some more things to local variables for example one of the things is going to be our item data uh, so over here we are getting the item data from the database from our local item that we passed along and here from the outro I want to promote this to a local variable and I'm gonna call this uh, whoops not the right one so we select this one and we need the local item data uh, this is so that we have less wiring so I'm gonna reconnect the execution pin over here so that we actually do set this value and then we can reconnect this structure right here to the local item data so that we don't have a long route let's look for another place this one right here also needs to have the same value so now we can remove that one so now this is going to give us a little cleaner look so now I'm going to slowly move things back to adjust what we need to adjust we do need the switch depending on the index that we are trying to populate with an item uh, so the 0 1 and 2 are going to stay the same as they are right now so for the armor and for the arm but the weapon type is only going to be set for the indexes 4 and 5 because well the 4 and 5 this is the left hand and this is the back slot those are going to be used for the melee weapons but slot number 3 is going to be used for something different it's going to be used for all the possible weapons that we might have so let's do an if like we did previously so this part is all good the way it was before but for the number 3 what we want to do is simply do a switch on string so depending on the weapon type we're gonna have a different result so the type we can grab from our s inventory structure type right here so I'm gonna drag the type to the selection and I will add a couple of pins to this thing right here so the first one obviously we still want to hold the melee weapons so that type is a weapon and also now we have a pistol and we have a rifle so now from the weapon we can go directly where this if branch checks goes so to the other if branch where we then check whether the item uh, the slot is empty or not so that's going to be all good but for the pistol and rifle since I want to check whether the other arm is empty because I want to hold only one weapon at a time we need to bring in our equipment variable our equipment array so let's get that and then we need to get a copy to the left hands index because I only want to equip guns in my right hand and I must make sure that my left hand is free and in my case the left hand is index number four so I'm gonna get a copy from the equipment arise entry number four then we can split this split the item itself as well and I want to make sure that my left hand is empty so from the uh, item row name I'm gonna do equal and I'm gonna check whether the row name is equal to an empty slot and then if that is we can do an if branch check and if that is true we can proceed to the next if branch check which comes from the all the other ones so on true we can go 
over there but if it is false well then we want to return false since we are not able to add the weapon since the other arm is busy so let's connect the switches pistol and rifle pins and the default one let's connect to another return node with a false to uh, make sure that we don't actually equip anything if it's not supposed to go there now this is all good for the pistols and rifles get, making sure that the other arm is empty now we gotta make sure that we actually populate the other arm with something uh, so that we can't equip a rifle first and then have a melee weapon in the other hand because well that's gonna look very awkward with our animations that we have set up right now so what I will do is actually go back to my items database real quick and I'm gonna add a new item so I'm gonna duplicate the empty item and I'm gonna rename this to be called busy and I'm gonna give this a the name it's going to be busy and the description will be this slot is not available there we go the slot is not available let's save this that's all we need to change everything else can stay the same now we can go back to our add item to equipment function and on the top part where we are equipping an item for the first time uh, we want to go to this loop completion and in this loop we add some extra slots if the item comes with the extra slots so on completed what I want to do is do another switch on string and just like previously this needs a couple of types but this needs only two because for the pistol and for the rifle uh, is the only options we want to have some extra slots on them so what I will do is get a copy from the items type so you can see from the item data this is the type variable so I'm gonna plug that into the selection so if our item is a pistol or a rifle we want to drag in our equipment variable again equipment array and we want to set the array element so let's connect the pistol and rifle and the array element index is going to be the index 4 so in my case the left hand and for the item itself well let's make this so let's make the structure I'm gonna break the item and so for the database obviously we select our item database and for the row name I'm gonna use busy so this is gonna populate the other arm with a busy item so that means well we are not going to be able to equip anything on that hand uh, if we already have a pistol or a rifle then obviously from the set array element we want to go to the return node over here so that we would return successful once we successfully added an item so that's going to be it in this function right here. So now let's let's test this out. Let's press play and let's see what happens if we equip some kind of an item. So let's pick up these items right here. So if we pick up the rifle, press play, you can see the other slot got populated with a busy slot and we are not able to equip anything to that slot if we have the rifle equipped but now if we remove this well this slot is still busy that is because now we need to do some adjustments in our remove amount at index and this is the function that we are using to remove uh, to remove items from our arise so what we want to do is go to the ending part right here so here we are checking if the this current array that we are removing the amount from is the equipment one so on true we are adding the equipment visuals well in this case we are removing them since this value is false removing the extra slots and re removing the equipment mesh from the preview so now let's drag these last two nodes back a little bit because well over here we want to do another if branch check on false we will be able to go directly to the next RI so let's reconnect this to be in the false route like so and for the condition well we want to do a couple of things first we want to drag in our equipment equipment array get a copy to the index 4 again so the left arm in my case I will split these pins right here and so that I would get the row name and I want to check if the row name is equal to busy and also we need one more condition and the other condition would be we need the index so I have my index is coming right over here so that's from the inputs it goes over here and then it goes to over here so we'll do a quick reroute and I want to check if this index is equal to the index number three 
So if we are removing from the index number three and the index number four is busy, then we can do like an and to make sure both of those are true. And that is going to be our if branches condition. So now if the slot number four is busy and we are trying to remove an item from the slot number three, that means, well, probably we have the rifle or pistol in our hands. So if we want to remove something, then on true, we need to set the array element and we can use our equipment array and the index is going to be in this case number four since well we want to remove the busy slot and for the item itself well let's just split this and let's reuse the empty item uh, empty item data table row from right here the one that we are plugging into this set array element and we're going to set the same thing for the uh, array index number four so connect this to an item and that is basically all that we need to use. Now, the last thing would be to connect our execution pin to over here as well, because, well, this is going to remove the busy slot and we also need to remove the actual uh, item itself as well. So this is going to create like a small extra thing to do for us if the slot is busy. So now if we would give this another test, so now let's equip a rifle. You can see the slot is busy. If we unequip this, the slot is empty and it's no longer busy. So now if we equip our axe, it's all good. Let's put this in the other slot. Let's try to add the rifle. And as you can see, we can't add the rifle because, well, we are already holding the battle axe. So everything seems to be working the way it should. We also can't add it to the second slot. We can only add it to the first one. So we are all good with that. Now let's set up our actual animations. And to set up our animations, we need to go to a function called, well, the event called server add equipment visuals, which is in our event graph right here. And I already have something over here, which is interesting because this is not getting used. Uh, we actually will need this, but well, let's 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 recreate this. So we want to run this on event that is ran on server. We do not want to multicast it because all we need to do is set our top pose index and to set it uh, and replicate the animations across the network. We need to run this on server so that the server would set this value so that every character would be notified about this. So what we want to do is from the uh, from this execution pin right here on the event that is ran on server, we want to do an if branch check. And what we want to check for is that we are equipping, so it's equipping. And we also want to make sure that the slot index is equal to slot index number three. So our weapon, the right hand weapon, basically. So let's connect this to the other one. And if both of these are true, well, then we can proceed with getting the item information. And to do so, let's drag from our input item. Let's break the data table row handle. Then we can get the data table row, connect the execution to the true connect the row name and then we can break the inventory structure so break s inventory structure there we go and then on row found we can set our top pose index and our top pose index is coming from the item information so the bottom value for me the top pose index is going to be set and it's going to be replicated across the network since my variable is replicated and this thing is getting ran on server now from the false route we want to do another if branch check and here we want to check something very similar we want to check that this is equipping is a not value so if we are unequipping and also we want to make sure that well the index is three so from the three we can do an and connect the not value and so if we are unequipping and the slot index is number three then well we can connect this right here and we can on true set our top pose index back to being zero and that is basically all that we need to do over here so let's compile and save this and let's give this a try so let's press play let's pick up some items so i've picked up a couple of items let's give this a try so first and foremost let's try to equip a vest uh, I still need to adjust this. I haven't done it. Uh, then we need a rifle. So as you can see, as soon as we equip the rifle, the animation for the top pose got changed. And when we run, when we jump, and when we just simply stand, you can see, well, we are using the same animation. There we go. So now we can unequip this. Let's equip a pistol. 
You can see for the pistol we are running a different animation. My animation is twitchy. Well, I need to change my top out animation, but other than that, everything is working. Well, I'm gonna change the animation off screen. All I'm gonna do is simply re-import a different animation with the same name, and it's going to rewrite everything, and everything will be working just fine. And just for just just in case, I will do this at the end of the video so you guys can see what exactly I did. Uh, also, now let's try the battle axe. Let's try to add this. Let's give this a proper test. So make sure everything does work the way we want it to and nothing gets glitched out. So if we remove this vest right here, it doesn't remove the busy slot, it keeps the slot the way it is. Also you can see my animation is not exactly the way I want it to, the weapon is a little bit off axis and I believe the same thing should happen for the sniper rifle as well i believe i have full so let's test this out with the sniper rifle press play yeah they are a little bit off axis uh, as you can see there it's he's not holding them properly so what we can do is go to our equipment so we have the rifle equipment go to the view of port and this is the actor that is getting displayed on our character so what we can simply do is rotate this a little bit outwards uh, 10 degrees might be a little extreme so we might want to put in the values manually to have those at a smaller angles so let's give this another go let's see how this looks with both of these weapons so we have the one rifle oh it's actually pretty pretty close to being perfect there we go so i'm happy with this one let's see if i'm happy with this one as well yeah i'm very happy with with the way he's holding these guns now so this is looking this is looking really good. So, yeah, that's going to be basically it for today's video. Now our character is changing the poses depending on the weapon that he is holding. Now, real quick, let's re-import the animations. So let's go to the assets folder character animations. Here are my animations and this is the animation that I'm using for the idle position and if I open this up you can see well this guy is moving around quite a bit. You can see he's shaking his legs moving around so that's why the animation is as twitchy as it is. You can see the the weapons in his arms are also twitching a little bit so let's change this up I have an animation all ready to go downloaded and I named it exactly the same way I had the previous animation so it was pistol idle uh, one in the bracket so now if I drag this in as you can see successfully re-imported the animation so now if I open the sub animation up you can see this is a completely different animation so now if we press play let's see let's pick ourselves up a pistol let's equip a pistol and you can see there we go this animation is a little bit better uh, probably another thing that I want to do is what I don't like about this animation is the fact that well the arms are not exactly together so what I will simply do is go to the skeleton select the left arm there we go rotate this in just a little bit press S go to the last press S once more, uh, it broke it, so let's move this back, press S again, and now if we press play on this one, well, this is looking a little bit better, so now we can save this, let's give this another go, let's pick up ourselves a pistol, so pistol, there we go, and well this is looking a little bit better probably I will adjust this a little more but for now well this seems to be pretty good so yeah thank you for watching like always make sure to subscribe if you haven't already uh, I upload two videos a week at least so every Friday and Saturday there is a video on the equipment series well we are closing in on having our weapons the actual guns imported and fully functioning as well we still need to make sure that we can shoot from those we will need a scoping uh, functionality as well but well we are closing in on finishing the system for now so probably once I'm done with this there will be some different videos throughout the weekends the inventory system might slow down a little bit uh, because I have a lot of things planned in the future a lot of beginner videos and also well I have a bunch of ideas that I want to bring into this project I want to continue this project I want to build this into perhaps an actual game eventually and uh, yeah if you have any suggestions this this will be a survival game because that's well that's where my channel started with a survival game tutorials I have a very basic system for the survival game
game series now for the this inventory system series well this is way more advanced with way more features as you probably already know this there is 30 plus videos just on the inventory itself alone uh, when the survival game series was around 55 videos and there is loads of functionalities in there but they are all very basic and I want to make sure that this system right here is also a survival game but a way more advanced one so if you want me to upload more frequently make sure to check out my patreon consider subscribing to it uh, you can download all the project files I upload them once a month so you can get some previous versions and some more newer versions I still haven't uploaded the this one yet uh, but well it's coming out any days any day now so that's gonna be it thank you for watching and see you soon